All right, what is still going up, guys? A little bit change of scenery because, as you see, if you can't guess, we moved. Or we're currently in the process of moving. Look at my little sis playing some Stop. basketball. See, I make it right here. Nope. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ! Cut that. Cut that shit. All right. Um. Anyway, so I've been gone for a while. A hey, uh, been a couple of months, but. That's with good, good reason. Um, I am, so right now, I'm a college student. I go to, uh, I go to A&M. And uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. It's my sophomore year. And it's just, school started in uh, August. So I've been kind of busy with that whole thing and neglecting this beautiful car. Uh, so I want to run, th run through an update since the last time you guys seen it. I have some footage I filmed. Uh, uh, about a month ago about what the current situation of the car is and I'm gonna plug that in right now what we do here is go back 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 car back from the shop um, I'm gonna take you and show you what exactly the, the guy did so what he did was basically made sure that the whole car was in drivable shape right so uh, he only had it for about a week or so and he put in a new distributor so the car runs super good now um, he changed all the radiator hoses. Uh, the last ones were kind of bulging. Uh, so we got those replaced. Um, changed the belts out. Changed all the, all the fluids. Uh, so oil, coolant. Uh, brakes, blood the brakes. Um, and even power steering, which I think this car has power steering. Uh, yeah, right here. So. Uh, he did all that and everything is in pretty good order the, the mechanic told me that uh, That we had a bad alternator. So What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I got a brand new alternator And we're gonna swap that today and then start it up. Hopefully uh, It should charge the battery and we shouldn't have a dying issue too much anymore. All right, so changing an alternator in theory is a pretty simple job. All right, so as you saw, my whole goal was to change the alternator out, but I didn't realize that on this on the stock alternator, get a little bit of light on there, on the stock alternator, see how the bracket is up and down on the back side. Let's see if you can see if I can get a good angle. Well, you can kind of see that the the plugins are horizontal. Uh, they go straight across and the brackets are up and down. So what had happened was is that I got an alternator and I didn't know, I mean, it's kind of my fault, but I didn't know that you have to clock an alternator right to um, to get to get into fit in certain cars. Now with this being such an old car, uh, back then a lot, of, a lot of the cars ran the same alternator, just the only difference was that this would just clock into a different uh, position what I mean by that is that this casing would still be the same this way, but these brackets could be, this could be horizontal, or this could be 45 degrees. Um, it just depends on what car it is. And so the one when you buy an alternator, a brand new one, it's actually uh, horizontal, so the brackets are on the left hand, right hand side. So what I plan to do tonight, because uh, I got off of work pretty late, so what I plan to do tonight is actually for real change it this time. Right. All right, guys. It is we, we are back with a new day. We are back with a new attitude, with some new energy, um, and some new knowledge. So last time we were here uh, was uh, I don't know about four about five, four or five days ago. Like I said, I've been busy remodeling the house and everything like that. So uh, what happened was. Um, we did the alternator change 
and uh, we got the top bracket off, of course. And then the bottom one was getting hit by this power, this power steering pump. Now, what I didn't realize is that you could actually this, this whole thing kind of shifts over, and it, all you have to do is just undo that bolt. Let's see, right there's a bolt right there. So we're gonna get that done. Uh, probably gonna take off this belt and then slide the whole thing over. And then that way we can take this alternator out, put, pop the new one back in, and put everything together. Perfect. It's finally off. Well, put that right there. You put the new one in. That was a pain in the ass because what you simply have to do is just uh, loosen this bracket. This just slides uh, like, kind of, wait, wait, wait up there. You know how this bracket kind of slides. Uh, slides like that. And you have to loosen this bolt right here. And then you have to take this bolt. This makes the alternator shift that way. So you can clear the, uh, power steering pump so you actually didn't have to touch the power steering pump which is really good so now next part we have to do is uh put the new one back on um if you guys don't know i work at autozone so i get parts pretty cheap um and pretty decent parts i guess There we go, the new alternator. All right, I'm gonna throw those back in. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see it because it's long and the tedious process, so I'll, I'll catch you guys later. All right, so I got the alternator all buttoned up. Um, the tension's pretty good. It was actually, I mean, once, you, once I figured out that all you have to do is remove that these two bolts, remove this one and loosen that one, and loosen both of these, it slides right in. It was a pretty easy install. Um, now, the hard part is probably gonna get it to start again. Um, like I said, this car hasn't started in, it's been quite a long time. And the battery's most likely dead, so I gotta jump off just in case. But we're gonna see what happens. Put that right there. Whoop. Oh God, the buzzer. Yeah, 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 Jesus Christ, all right guys. I haven't tried it yet. It's my, it's my grandpa. Hey, let's turn it over. Pump it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there's 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 definitely less squeaking. Um 
so with that squeaking I was talking about, um, huh? No, yeah, I don't, I don't have the battery light anymore. So I think I'm something good. So what happened? What, what happened is that I would get a little generator light right here, the, the battery light. That's now off, so that tells me it was in fact a bad alternator. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, return that voltage right later and just not worry about it because it's the wrong size anyway. Um, so what was happening was is I um, I had this um, this like there's a squeaking sound right that's when we took it to the shop took, took the car back from the guy. Um, every time I revved the car, it would squeak terribly. It just yeah, it's, I guess it's still there now. Um, so definitely probably a bad bearing one of the belts. I thought it was gonna be the alternator one, but it's not um, More than likely it's gonna be Probably the main drive If I had to say so, but uh, yeah, no no more no more uh, alternate lights. I mean the battery should be charging it Should be all set to go now the next process the next thing I need to do is definitely uh, Don't worry about the pants. It's raining outside. So I'm not worried about the style, but um, next process is definitely the brakes. I think I got both brake lights on. Yeah, um, gotta get the brakes. The brakes feel just squishy all the time. Probably, I think I got a vacuum leak in the uh, the brake booster. Um, cause the brake fluid's good. Uh, I uh, what do you call it? You. Uh, I bled the brakes, there we go. And that was all good, brake fluid's all good, all topped off, so probably just a brake booster problem. And you hear it kind of hissing. Like it's definitely losing some vacuum. So that's the next step. But that's it now. That's the main, that's one of the major parts of the car that was, uh, that was missing, so. Um, gonna hit those brakes up. Then I'm probably gonna focus on trying to get this interior nice. Uh, and then I'm focused on the outside, the vinyl top. And then lastly, probably the AC radio and um, and every, all the accessories. But now, the number one thing is definitely gonna be those brakes right there because they are absolutely terrible. I gotta just get rid of them. Oh, and the mirror. I gotta find somewhere to, so this doesn't move up and down when I drive it. But yeah, that's gonna be it.